<laughs> Who knows what evil lurks in the heart of game? <laughs> the Shadow Snows. Hi, this is the Shadow Snows, and I'm back with another Let's Compare video. Tonight I'll compare the game one on one basketball um, on the Atari 8 bit, the Commodore 64 and the Commodore Amiga. So I'll start with the Atari 8 bit. Um, you've got uh, quite a few options to select. I'll, I'll choose Pro for reasons I'll tell you later. I play to a set score to make it a little shorter. And I play to 21 points. That should be okay. So let's start. I'm the guy outside. So and yeah, it's not very easy, and it's a lot more fun against the human player than against the computer. Ah. But it's not a terrible basketball game, it's quite challenging. And for such an early game... Players are quite... And the referee... And I know nothing about basketball, so I can't tell what I did wrong, or he did wrong. And I don't know how I turn around. Not this way. Ah, I scored a three point. Uh. But I lose anyways. And I don't know how I did that. Ah, a shortcut to the button. Damn it. and the computer wins. So not a bad game. Let's see how it plays on the Commodore 64. Okay, let's see how the Commodore 64 version plays. It has basically uh, the same option menu. So let's choose the same options. Okay, the colors are completely different. And I'm not sure what I should think about the sound effects. Maybe I like them more on the Atari. Ah, 
but basically it's the same game. Screen area on the Atari is also much larger uh, since you don't have the border. And I think you got the instant replay feature on the Atari 2. So it's it's the same game. Maybe it feels a little bit more fluent on the Atari. And I can score a single basket. Ah, I got it back. Ah, and I lost it again. But I can't see too much difference. I can't score a single basket. It's amazing. Yes. But if I would play in real life, I would look even worse. At least against a guy who ever played basketball at least once before. Oh. And I can't score at all. And he, any try. And I've lost. So uh, basically the same game. Colors are uh, different but who cares. I've never seen a black uh, basketball field anyway so I don't care how the lines look. So let's see how the Amiga version compares. So finally uh, the Amiga version. Uh, you can already see in the demo that uh, the graphics looks much more like a real basketball field. And how do I start it? Ah, with the mouse. Wow. I think you basically got the same options as on the 8-bit versions. Just you have to select it with the mouse. That's, I think, less convenient. And don't tell me what. Don't tell me you played with a mouse. That's ridiculous. But the sound effects are nice. But there must be a way to play it with a joystick. That's ridiculous. Okay, I'm not gonna play this uh, with a mouse. It's ridiculous. If it would uh, uh, be controlled by a joystick, it uh, would definitely play uh, better than the 
edited versions. It's uh, a lot quicker. Sounds are great, but uh, controlled with the mouse. It's awful. Um, I'll do some research on the internet, and if it's uh, playable with the joystick, I'll redo, uh, redo this part. If not, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, thanks for watching. Okay, I found out how to control it with the joystick. You just have to plug in uh, the joystick into port 1, into the mouse port for player one very convenient um, I won't recommend uh, swapping uh, joystick and mouse uh, when the machine is powered on because I already killed uh, a fuse in a Amiga 2000 by doing that so do it at your own risk I powered it, my machine down and reloaded the game so let's play it with the joystick And as I said before, with the joystick it plays great. Much faster than, uh, than the 8-bit versions. And additionally you have uh, great sound effects and uh, much more detailed and colorful graphics. And I'm still crap at basket. I didn't I didn't want to do that, I wanted to turn around. Nah. I wanted to do that. Come on. Yes. No. I did something wrong. Great. So, uh, I think this is one of the first Amiga games and uh, it doesn't add much gameplay to, uh, the, 8 -bit, uh, to the 8 bit versions, but uh, it's definitely an improvement. It controls very fluent, uh, animation is very fluent, the game is very quick. So, uh, I think I could say this is the best uh, version of one-on-one uh, one -on -one basketball. But uh, don't forget the 8-bit versions, they, are, uh, they both uh, play great. And uh, with the 8-bit systems, I think I go with the Atari version. Uh, it's slightly better than the Commodore 64 version, but not much. Um, and... That was my Let's Compare 1 on 1 video. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.